Why don't you come out? <laughs> you know, even with the door locked, I can open it. I can pick it. I can break it. I can go around. You've been here a week. And you make up some lies. Like that you actually saw me on the bus. I mean, can't be all lies. I mean, you did mention the nice dress I wore. But you all did that just so you could have some more freedom. Just some more freedom to get away from me. Do you realize you should open the door? And what are you doing in there? You're just messing with things? I cleaned it up. It was going to be our room soon. Just open the door! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just open the door, okay? Yes, I'm mad. I'm not gonna lie about that. Well, what did you think? I was going to act sweet and kind. That's what I've been doing all this time. Caring for you. Making sure the cuff didn't scrape or cause you a rash on your ankle. Made sure you didn't have to wear the cuffs on your arm. Didn't put duct tape on your mouth. Because for some reason, you think screaming's going to help you. Of course I'm gonna break down the door by now. Well, fine. Fine. You wanna try and hide from me? <sighs> Get out! Come on! Open the door! <sighs> Finally! Really? You're gonna hide? I can find you. It's only a room. So where are you hiding? My sweet, sweet, stubborn love. <sighs> really? You're going to really jump. Of course you're not going to jump, really. This is the third story of a building, and you don't know if you're going to land right. Yeah. Well, that's dangerous. And even with your injuries. Your track injuries, remember? I mean, this is you were talking about. Three years ago, you freaking had to have surgery. Of course I'm gonna know that. I mean, that's why I had to pick somewhere taller. It would mean you can't run as fast because you would still be injured. It would still hurt. Just stop walking, please. You're getting closer and closer to the edge. Can you just come back with me? Yes, I'm, I'm a mad, but... <laughs> more than anything, I'm concerned with you. You you really look like you, you are going to jump. You might die. 
now be my fault. So can you just take five steps back? Okay? I won't come closer. I'll stand here. Here, I'll drop the knife too, okay? No, no weapons. No handcuffs. No tasers. No tricks. So please, 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 please don't. You really do look serious, and you are determined. You are a very, very determined person, okay? Just think about this. And I'll cool down, because I'm maybe overreacting a little? I mean, you locked yourself after you got to be free. Went to get you some stuff. And you said you were more hungry. And clearly, the food I wasn't giving you wasn't good enough. You started to... <sighs> you started to scratch at your arms. Really, really, really badly. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop talking, okay? You can talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I just say one thing? You're not in danger. What about that person? I mean, you talked to... Every Wednesday and every Sunday, you would talk to her. This happened several times throughout the time I saw you. Well, what I mean by that she's not going to help you, my gosh, you just accuse me of murder. I didn't murder her. She's not dead. She's not in a coffin. She's not buried six feet under. She's not in the closet over there. No! I'm not joking with you. Why are you taking steps back again? Please! <sighs> you're scaring me. Yes, you're scaring me. You're terrified looking and practically willingly wanting to jump off a building that you do not know where it is at, how far to the next police station or bus station or anyone. Well, yeah, this is further into the rural area. It's not mine, but no one ever comes here anymore. Except sometimes people who make bad deals. Sometimes people who shoot first and then ask questions. If, if I give you pictures or a video or something about that woman, Will you believe me that I didn't take care of her? She's still at her work. She's still a waitress. There's nothing bad happening to her. I mean... Okay, I'll be honest. There's a lot of people who I could have taken out of the picture in order to get to you. A lot. Or I could have just made them go away, or... Severely traumatize them. But I didn't need that route. Quickest, fastest, cleanest route that keeps us out of the picture of news and the police means just getting you out of the world. And, and that's worked. And we've talked. And you talked back to me. You communicated instead of giving me death glares and terrified looks that I would hurt you. 
I'm absolutely in love with you. I don't want you sad. I don't want you afraid. I want you happy. The happiest you could ever feel in life. And yet you seem like you would feel happier in death. Just come back. Can we sort this? I mean, if you end it, end us, right here, right now, who's going to know? You know I can't go and tell people. The first thing they'll say is that I kidnapped you. I mean, no one in my my life or your life knows about me. I don't have anywhere else to go to. Can't you just come back? Back to the room for the night? It's late. And you're thinking on an adrenaline high. Please. Please. Come close enough so I can grab you. So sorry. So sorry. But you dying is by my hand only. Not because you choose to. We're going to be together forever until death do us part. <laughs>